the people the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, has spoken with me this night, this past night, in a very, very tremendous way. Blessed people, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Yahweh, the mighty, mightiest God of Israel, he has spoken with me, blessed people, this past night, in a very, very tremendous conversation, the bottom line of which is a sign that the Messiah is coming. And in that conversation, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, the mighty God of Israel, he has spoken with me about an earthquake that is coming. The Lord asked me to step forward and he said, step forward and judge these people with the mega wrath of God. The Lord used the word mega by voice. And so, when I stepped forward and I struck them with the wrath of God, lifted up my left prophetic finger and left prophetic arm and struck them, then a massive earthquake we fell. There is a severe earthquake coming to the earth. This is very urgent, blessed people. This is very, very urgent right now. There is a severe, severe earthquake coming to the earth. I see the Lord immediately after he commanded me to strike the earth, to strike these people, the particular people, with the wrath of God, the mega wrath of God, the judgment of God Almighty. Then the Lord put me in there that I may see the fulfillment of the words of my tongue. And inside there, an earthquake struck at my word, at the words of Lord Yahweh. A severe earthquake struck, and we were running. The Lord put us in there. We were running, running for our lives together with the people there. And you know, every time the Lord speaks with his servant, this is the way in which the Lord ensures that his servants get the fullest detail of how it will feel to be in that judgment that a sound warning may be transmitted to this generation to avoid that wrath, to repent and turn away from all sin. The Lord normally puts us into the judgment earlier that we may feel the pain of what is going to be felt, that we may give the fulfillment and the prophecy in fullest detail. And on this occasion, too, blessed people, the Lord Yahweh has put us into that aspect. Again, this past night, blessed people, the Lord commanded us to step forward, and he said, strike these people with a mega wrath, the word mega, wrath of God, because of sin, because of sexual sin, because of homosexuality, LGBTQ, and because of idol worship. And the moment... We stepped forward and I lifted up my left prophetic arm in obedience to God's command this night. And I lifted up my left prophetic finger and struck the land, that land. The severest earthquake befell because the people failed to repent. This is urgent, blessed people. This is urgent, urgent, urgent. This is an emergency announcement, urgent. The severest earthquake is about to strike the earth. And the Lord has already put us in there and we were running for our lives. A lot of debris were falling from buildings that were cracking and a lot of things falling on our heads from tall buildings. The buildings are tall. Tall buildings. I see tall with windows, glass windows all the way up there. And a lot of those windows and balconies are falling on our heads as we were running from the severest aspect, blessed people. The time is nigh for the coming of the Messiah. This is urgent, 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 blessed people. There is a severest aspect coming to the earth, blessed people. This is a warning I am giving on this day, blessed people. A warning I'm giving at 7.23 Thursday, the 10th of August, East African time, 724. The Lord Yahweh has spoken with us, blessed people. The Lord God of Israel, 
Yeroba Elohim. He has spoken with his two mega prophets in a very mighty way, in a very dreadful way in the dream this past night. And in that dream, the Lord commanded his prophet to step forward and strike these people with the mega wrath of God. In other words, the dreadful wrath of God. And when we lifted up our left prophetic hand with the left prophetic finger and struck, struck that nation, then a massive earthquake hit. And those buildings are tall buildings. They're really tall. They're tall buildings. And they are tumbling. And debris is falling and we're running. We're running. This is urgent, blessed people. Urgent, urgent. This is going to happen soon. The wrath of God is coming against idol worship, homosexuality, transgender, LGBTQ. This open and blatant and public celebration of sin and abomination that this generation has gotten into has attracted the attention and the wrath of God. And the Lord has unleashed his two mega prophets to strike that particular nation with the severest earthquake. And the buildings were told, and the debris were falling on our heads as we were running. It was terrible, blessed people. And I saw this happen twice. This is not the first time the Lord has commanded me to strike that nation. Yesterday in the day again, the Lord showed me as I was reading the Bible, then the building tumbled. These are tall buildings, tall. A city with tall buildings. The building began to tumble like this, almost leaning on each other. Some of them falling and leaning on the other. There is a severe judgment of God coming against LGBTQ, against homosexuality, blessed people, against sexual sin, sexual immorality. The wickedness of this generation has taken up and celebrated openly in the eyes of the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel. Remember, Sodom and Gomorrah was judged for homosexuality. Remember, God judges sin. Remember that the eternal gospel that we receive from our Lord Jesus Christ pronounces the fear of God, pronounces that we should worship only the Lord, pronounces that God judges sin, pronounces that that hour of judgment is near, nearer now. The Lord Almighty has sent me to strike a nation, tall buildings I see, with a lot of windows going up there. And I see tall buildings tumble, some of them lean. The earthquake is so severe that some of the tall buildings end up leaning on the other tall buildings. The windows are falling, everything we are running for our lives. There is a severe earthquake coming to the earth. The nations of the earth must be turned from LGBTQ, homosexuality. The Holy God of Israel, he demands that everybody receive Jesus and be holy. And God's command cannot be violated, cannot be disobeyed, cannot be unheeded. God has commanded that all people everywhere repent because the Messiah is coming. The coming of the kingdom of God is near now. And God has commanded everybody everywhere to now repent and turn away from sin and repent in Christ Jesus and receive the Lord Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. God has designed that all men may enter the kingdom of God inside heaven. That hell was not meant for men, but meant for the devil and his angels. But God has also ordained that those that will be heedless will not obey this voice. They will end up in the lake of fire together with the devil and his affiliates because they become the affiliates of Satan. The Lord has spoken. <clears throat> Blessed people, the Lord Yahweh, the God of Israel, has spoken in a hurry. This is urgent, going to happen soon. There is an antidote coming. I, I see people running for their lives everywhere. Yes, the people. And we are headed to Brazil also. This is such a people to time. The nations must repent. We are now headed to Brazil. In the next two weeks, we are headed to Brazil. For the mega, mega Brazil 2023 revival phase two. Many, many cities, very intensive for one month. 
including the Jewish community, have come out. They have finally recognized the mega prophets of Israel, and they have announced that they also want the mega prophets of Israel to come to the Jewish community. They are mobilizing themselves. It's very massive there. But remember, I've seen the judgment of God coming against homosexuality and the idol worship of this generation. Repent! Repent! Repent and turn away from sin. The voice of Yahweh, the Lord God, the Lord of hosts, is broken. Let everybody repent and turn away from sin. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Time is nigh. The King is coming. Turn away from sin. Salvation has been given to mankind free of charge. Receive the Lord. Receive the gospel. The wrath of God is coming. Everybody that does not repent, any community, any nation that does not repent must be judged. The voice of God has spoken. The Messiah is coming. Todah Averim, Boker Tov, Todah Shalom, Shalom. Well, uh, blessed people, again, the Lord Almighty Jehovah, the mighty God of Israel, He has warned, He has warned that the judgment of God is coming. And this judgment you see happening here, they are preludes. They are a little glimpse of a window of what will happen in the tribulation, and the great tribulation. We have lived through the tribulation. We have lived in there. We have lived in the tribulation and in the great tribulation. <laughs> and we have seen some of the prophecies we have unleashed there and some of the operation when we are moving and building the tumbling in the tribulation and the great tribulation. And so, blessed people, the Lord Almighty has spoken. He has spoken today that there is judgment of God coming. The Lord commanded us in the dream to step forward and strike a nation with the severest earthquake. To strike a nation with the severest earthquake. I would not like to characterize the nation. All I'm saying is that the Lord will judge LGBTQ. The Lord will judge transgender and homosexuality. The Lord will judge lesbianism. The Lord will judge sexual sin in this generation. He judged it before in Sodom and Gomorrah, and he will judge it now. The Lord asked us in the dream, he commanded us to step forward to, to strike a nation with an earthquake. I see tall buildings, tall windows, tall buildings. It's a developed country, tall, tall buildings. And those buildings began to tumble, began to shake, and a lot of debris falling from above, people running. So the Lord normally puts us in. He put me inside, and I saw us running. We were running, running for our lives. The debris was falling on our heads. Severe earthquake. The entire night, the entire night, from the moment we walked in here yesterday after a very long meeting at the gazebo here, the entire night, the Lord warning about this coming wrath, coming judgment. We are in the dispensation of the grace. The Lord Almighty is now using the judgment of God to enhance His grace that you may see the value and the treasure of the grave. And uh, we struck that nation. Then the earthquake hit, the Lord put us in there, we were running for our lives. They bring everything falling on our heads. The windows, the shields, the, the walls, the everything, the balcony is falling from above. This is urgent. It will be in a hurry. There is a severe earthquake about uh, This is very urgent. And I see that country hit. I see a modern country. People are running. And the entire night, the entire, the Lord Almighty, by voice, he kept saying that mega prophets, they are known by the earthquake they have unleashed on a repressed nation. My mega, and they were showing, meanwhile at the time, showing the many other earthquakes. And the soil was shaking, shaking all over. This is a very tremendous time, a critical time in the life of the earth, the life of the church. The wrath of God is coming against homosexuality, transgender, and LGBTQ. God has commanded everybody everywhere to repent 
according to the book of Acts chapter 17, verses 30 and 31. Everybody must obey the Lord now. This is the hour for grace, but also the Lord is now pouring the cold wind, the wind that are coming from the winter that is coming. This is like autumn, when we are in between two seasons, the next season is about to take place, about to happen. Everybody must repent. Repent, ye nations. Repent and receive the gospel. Repent and receive Jesus. Turn away from sin. The Messiah is coming. The Lord has announced that the Messiah is coming. Therefore, the nations must prepare. You must prepare. You must repent the sacrifice of sin. You cannot do this and be done for so long. The judgment of God is coming. And the whole night was saying that his mega prophets are known by the earthquakes they have unleashed on the earth. Then in, meanwhile, showing the soil shaking everywhere. So showing the many earthquakes that we have unleashed and many that are coming. This is a terrible time. And he was saying that, in other words, the creations of their prophets is the mega earthquakes they have struck the world with, the earth with. Haiti earthquake, China earthquake, Peru earthquake. Mexico earthquake, Nepal earthquake, the Philippines earthquake, Japan earthquake, then U.S. earthquake that I said would shake its white house violently. And I've seen another earthquake, some is Washington. That prophecy is pending until now. I've seen the Washington monument down, tumble. I've seen the Capitol Hill split, the dome split into half. I've seen the National Cathedral in Washington, half of it. Broke down. I've seen the White House terribly broken by the earthquake until water gushed out from under the White House. And I've been there. The glorious prophet walked there as they were grappling with water. I have lived that future day. Water from under the White House, from that earthquake. So the Lord is saying, How much more shall it come to you? How much more shall it shake you? How much more should the wrath be unleashed on you before you repent? I brought pestilences unto you, and you still did not yet repent. I have brought earthquakes and shaken you violently, and you have still not yet repented as nation. I have brought famine and global economic crisis. You have not yet repented. I have brought the COVID, coronavirus, and yet you have not yet repented. I brought the Ukraine war on you, and you have not yet repented. This one is not urgent. There's an earthquake about to strike the earth. A very severe earthquake about to strike the earth. And the whole thing kept saying that his prophets are known by the earthquake they have struck the earth with. And he kept showing me the soil is shaking everywhere. Time is bad. Repent the Messiah is coming. Thank you.